I am so glad you're here. My name is Kelsey and I'm going to be your teacher today while we will learn a little bit about coding and a little bit about jokes. But I'm not here by myself. I have a few friends here to join me. As always, I have Matt the robot. Hey, Matt. Hey, Kelsey. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you doing, Matt? I'm doing excellent. Can't wait to see some of the jokes that are going to be coming in from Facebook and YouTube. That's right. So we are not alone here in our Zoom room today. There are people that are going to be watching live on Facebook and YouTube as well. And so if you're watching live, if you have some jokes that you would like to tell, that is a big part of our lesson today because some things that you should know about Matt, he's an awesome producer. He loves spaghetti, and I've never, ever, not once seen him smile. Nope. nope. Not once. Never seen him smile. Do you remember ever smiling, Matt? Uh, I remember I tried to smile once. It, it didn't work out too well. Oh. Well, that's what we're going to try and do today, is we are going to try and get Matt to smile. And I've been trying and trying. I thought that since he's a robot, we could use some computer science today to get him to smile. And maybe you guys can help us out a little bit. I want to go to gallery view to see who else we have joining us in class today. And if you guys might introduce yourself, you can say your name. Don't tell us where you are because we want to keep everything pretty private. So just your first name and thinking jokes reminds me of telling jokes on Halloween. What were you for Halloween last year? Xander and Penelope, do you guys want to go first? I was Pikachu. You were Pikachu. That sounds really fun. How about you, Penelope? What were you I for Halloween? Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. That's a really great costume. Those are fun. Do you guys remember the jokes? Did you guys tell jokes when you went door to door? Do you remember what joke you told? No. No? no. <laughs> I, I never remember what jokes I told. Only the very first one. The very ver first Halloween joke I remember telling was, how do you make a Kleenex dance? Do you guys know this one? You put a little boogie in it, <laughs> right? So yeah, that one's pretty good. But Matt, did that make you laugh? Uh, I don't think so. Am I laughing right now? Um, no. All right, so we got to try harder than that. We got to get some better jokes going than that one. Um, how about you, Sandy? Did you dress up for Halloween last year? No, you didn't? <laughs> well, if you think of a favorite Halloween costume that you've ever dressed up as, you can let us know, all right? <laughs> okay. So we are gonna try and get Matt to laugh with some computer science today. So let's spotlight me because I wanna show you what I'm talking about. This is an example of a joke that I made using a program called Scratch. So I'm gonna pull it up over here, get it ready to go, there we are. So here's an example of a joke that I made. I'm gonna make it full screen and here we go. Here's the joke. One bear walks up to the other bear and the blue bear says, I've got a joke for you. Pink bear says, okay, I love jokes. Knock, knock. Who's there? Cows go. Cows go who? No, cows go moo, silly. And then the pink bear didn't think that was very funny. <laughs> so it wasn't something I said. So the pink bear didn't think that joke was very funny. But that's what we're going to do today. We are going to use Scratch as our coding language. And you guys are going to get two characters to tell each other jo uh, jokes using Scratch. Sound good? Give me a thumbs up if that sounds good. Yeah? Yeah, so many thumbs, that's great. Okay, so we are going to first, you'll need to open up a programming language called Scratch. Let me show you how to get there. So I'm gonna just kind of do my screen in half here so that you can see it a little bit better. There we go. And so to get to Scratch, you're gonna go to scratch.mit.edu. There we go. So your screen will look like this, scratch.mit.edu. And if you're watching live on Facebook or if you're here on Zoom, something else you might wanna do is you might wanna resize your screens a little bit so that you can see me and you can see our, our class on Zoom in one part of your screen and in another part of your screen, you can see Scratch. So if you have two computer monitors, that makes it really easy. Or if you're watching on two devices, you might watch on your phone and then go grab your laptop or your Chromebook to code on, that would work really well. Um, or you could just resize your windows on your laptop and Chromebook so that you can see both. All right, so Scratch is a really cool programming language. And the first thing you need to do is you need to sign in. So if you've been to Scratch before, go ahead and sign in. Or if you haven't, you can join Scratch. It's really easy, it's free. They don't need any real personal information or anything, just like the year you were born. So they show you 
appropriate content. And then I'm going to sign in so that here's my account. So while you guys are going to Scratch, and again, that's scratch.mit.edu, that's the website you're going to. While you guys are getting there, um, I want to tell you a little bit about the different blocks that we're going to be using today. We're going to be using some blocks called say blocks that look like this. We're going to be using some blocks that are weight blocks that look like this. And we're going to be using some control blocks, some golden control blocks that look like this. And we're going to figure out what to do with these in just a little bit. But let's go ahead and create a project in Scratch. So I'm going to head back over there now that everybody's signed in a little bit. When you get to Scratch, you can go to Create. Da, 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 da. So when you go to Create, this opens up a brand new project for us. And sometimes it'll have a little like green screen that like a pop-up over it you can just x out of that because that's kind of teaching you how to use scratch that's what i'm here for today so it's all good so um in scratch just to kind of like tell you uh what it is you're looking at over here along the left side just in case you've never done programming these are blocks so you can drag these blocks out like if i drag this move 10 steps block out you drag blocks that are from over here into the middle here and then you can click on them and those control your character over here. Sometimes I'll call that a character. Scratch calls it a sprite. I'll use those two words interchangeably, I'm sure. So if you click on it, it moves 10 steps. That means it's moving to the right a little bit. You could put move negative 10 steps in there and you could get it to go the other way, which is pretty cool. So you can drag different blocks out, but if you ever find that there's a block that you don't want to use, that you dragged it out and you're like, mm, I wanna get rid of that. It's really easy to get rid of blocks. You just pick it up and drag it back where it came from, and that becomes basically like a garbage can. So you can just drag it back where you got those blocks from. Um, so you've got your, your like bank of blocks over here, and all these different colors, these are all like different folders of blocks. Now, something I love about Scratch is that you don't have to know everything to do something. We are not gonna use even close to all these blocks today. We're just gonna use a few of them. Um, but there's all kinds of different blocks. This is like your building area right in the middle here. This is called your stage. That's where you'll see your character do whatever you're coding it to do. And down here is where we can add more characters. So we'll do that later. All right, so our first goal in a joke is to get some characters, uh, to get a character talking to tell a joke. So the first thing, the very first thing we have to do is we have to think of a joke. So I have a couple examples for you. If you know some jokes, Start thinking of those, and if you know any jokes, you can tell us. But I have a couple of examples of jokes. Um, and it looks like we might have a couple coming in from online, but before we get to those, let me give you a couple really bad examples to get us started, okay? So Matt, are you ready? I have a couple jokes for you. Oh, I'm ready. Okay, Matt's ready. I thought we could start with some animal jokes. All right, so why do seagulls fly over the sea? Hmm, why do seagulls fly over the sea? Yeah. I don't know. Because if they flew over the bay, they'd be bagels. <laughs> no, no, that didn't work. That's okay. I got a couple more. I got a couple more. Okay. Uh, what do you call a fancy sea creature? I don't know, Kelsey. What do you call a fancy sea creature? You call it sophisticated. No, not that one either. That's okay. That's all right. Okay. I thought that one was pretty good. But here's, okay, I got one more animal joke. What do you call a pig that does karate? Pig that does karate. Yeah. I don't know. A pork chop. No, oh, no, that didn't work. Okay. So none of those jokes worked for Matt, but maybe you have some better jokes that might work. Do we have a couple examples coming in from the internet, Matt? Uh, we do have some shout outs that I'd like to oh. give, if that's okay. Who can we give a shout out to? Uh, Coricho says hi. Hi, John Caricho. and Rondi from Facebook, they also say hi. I wanted to say hi to Quentin, who's here too. Uh, Hannah right now is loading up Scratch. So Hannah, if you've got any questions at all, please, please, please let us know. We're here. And uh, David just sent in a joke. Oh. What do you call a pony with a sore throat? We call and a pony with a sore throat. I don't know. I'm, I'm waiting for the punchline right now. 
David, I'm trusting you that you're going to be a... <laughs> that it's going to be cool. All right. Well, we'll and wait for that we'll, punchline. We'll hold line. off on that. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll, we'll wait for that punchline from David. But I think we're ready now. I think most people probably have scratch open because now we need to, now that we've heard some examples of jokes, we need to get our characters speaking. So here's how we do that. We're going to go into these purple blocks that say looks. And the very top one on there says, say hello for two seconds. So you can drag that one out. But we don't want our character to say hello. We want them to say the setup of the joke. So a joke is broken into two parts. There's a setup and a punchline. So the setup is all the stuff you say before the funny thing. And then the punchline is the funny thing. So for example, a joke would be like, where do cows go on Friday night? That would be the setup. And the punchline would be, to the movies. <laughs> that's fine if I don't make Matt laugh, I'll make myself laugh. All right, so that's what you wanna type in here. You wanna say, I'll use that one. Where do cows go on Friday nights? So that's gonna be my setup. And I'm gonna make it say that. I'm gonna make it say that it's gonna be a little dialogue box that comes out for two seconds. So you can see when I click on it, that makes my cat say the setup for two seconds. And then I'm gonna add in another one of these to say the punchline. The punchline of mine was to the movies. <laughs> Pretty great. So you can put in your setup and your punchline there, but we've gotta add in something else as well. Cause watch this. We, when I am telling the setup to a joke, Matt is doing something, believe it or not. Um, when I'm telling the setup, he's waiting. And when he talks, I'm waiting. When I talk, he's waiting. This is how conversation works. If everybody talks at the same time, it doesn't work very well, right? So like when I say, what do you call a lazy kangaroo? Matt is waiting. And then Matt says, I don't know. What do you call lazy kangaroo? And I'm waiting when he's talking, right? And then I say, a pouch potato. <laughs> and then Matt is supposed to laugh, but he doesn't know how to do that yet. So we're getting there. We're getting there. So if I go back to scratch, you're gonna need those say blocks, but you're also gonna need some wait blocks. So the wait blocks, those are in the gold, if, oh no, they're in the, the orange control block, excuse me. And it's the very top one in the orange control box. It says, wait one second. So I'm gonna put that in between there, but for simplicity's sake, we're gonna make everything we do today last for two seconds. So in your, make your wait block last for two seconds as well. So you're gonna say something, wait, say something, and then you're gonna wait again here. All right, great. So you're getting your first character to give setup, wait, punchline, wait. Looks like we might have a couple questions or comments coming in from uh, our streams as well. What do you got, Matt? That's right, I wanted to give the punchline to David's joke. What's the, the punch, what was the setup again? Uh, the joke was, what do you call a pony with a sore throat? I don't know, what do you call a pony with a sore throat? A little horse. <laughs> a little horse. I like and that. And then I wanted to say hi to Beth. Hi, Beth. Good to see you. Glad you're here. Well, good to hear from you anyway. Okay. Let me check in on our Zoom class. And uh, I'm going to go to gallery view and check in on you guys. Give me a thumbs up. Do you have your first character saying the setup and the punchline of your joke and waiting in between? Yeah? Yeah. Looking good. Great. Love it. Okay. So we'll go back to speaker view here. Because now it's time to add in the next thing to our joke. Because uh, a joke isn't just one person talking to themselves, although I guess I make myself laugh all the time. Really, it requires two characters to talk to each other. So we need to add another sprite, add another character. That is really easy to do. Over here, see where my I've got my cat sprite right here? It says sprite number one. It's really easy to add in another sprite. At the very bottom, there's a little blue circle that says choose a sprite. So if you go down all the way in the bottom right hand corner of your screen, you say choose a sprite. And there are so many different characters in here. You could just scroll through forever. You can even like choose different categories like people or fantasy or animals or whatever. I'm gonna scroll around a little bit and see if I can find one that I like. There's even a bowl of cheesy puffs, which I think is really funny. <laughs> you can have your characters and your sprites be whatever you want. I kind of like this dinosaur right there. If you, if you put your mouse over it, you can even see like the different ways that it can move. So I kind of like this dinosaur here. So I'm gonna grab that one. Cool. And then to uh, reposition these, to make them 
really stand next to each other, I can just pick them up with my mouse and drag them around a little bit. And you might notice that my cat and my dinosaur are not facing each other right now. They're both facing, I guess they're both facing this direction. We're gonna fix that in a second, okay? So, great. Um, it looks like we have another robotics joke here coming in from, oh, oh, gotcha, 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 okay. Um, cool, so uh, we've got two characters, they're facing the wrong way, we're gonna fix that in just a minute, cool. Uh, we need to get this second character over here talking. So here's how we do that. Um, you can either click on your first sprite and you can see the code that you've built for it, or you can click on your second sprite, great. And we're going to build code for the second sprite, okay? So remember, last time when we built code, we had the, the character say something and then wait. But this character, while, this, while the first character is talking, the second character is gonna need to be waiting. So we're gonna like reverse the order of these. Instead of say, wait, say, wait, this one is gonna be wait, say, wait, say. So it'll be like the opposite pattern, all right? So this one, it's gonna start by waiting for two seconds and I'll go back to my code. So it's gonna wait while the other guy talks because I know that my cat is starting by talking. So it's gonna wait for two seconds and then it's gonna say whatever would be appropriate to the setup. So the setup for mine was, where do cows go on Friday nights? This guy's gonna say, I don't know, where? And then you guys can do this too. You can add, you can get your characters to respond to each other. And then after it hears the punchline, what it's supposed to do is laugh. So I'm gonna get mine to laugh. <laughs> Let's see if we are making Matt laugh yet. I have a couple more jokes for you here, Matt. I thought animal jokes, not really your thing because you're a robot, okay. Got a food joke. Are you ready for some food jokes, Matt? Yeah, yeah, let's Okay, all right, let's try these out. What do you call a fake noodle? A fake noodle? A fake noodle, a and, fake and noodle. not a real noodle, a fake a noodle. Fake noodle. Huh. A uh, I, I don't know, what do you call a fake noodle? You call it an impasta, an Im impasta. <laughs> no, nothing from Matt. Okay, okay, I got another one, I got another one. What do you call an angry pea? An angry pea, hmm, let me think. Mm -hmm. I don't know, what do you call an angry pea? A grumpy. <laughs> no, Matt's just blinking at me. Okay, I got, I got, this one's, this one's pretty good. This is for all you Star Wars fans out there. What did the lunch lady say to Luke Skywalker? <laughs> I don't know, what did the lunch lady say to Luke Skywalker? Use the forks, Luke. No, nothing. Oh man, I thought that one was really good. Okay, all right. So hopefully by now, with that little joke interlude, with this wet wet blanket over here who won't laugh at any of my jokes, hopefully you guys have now gotten both of your characters to have say and wait blocks that both last for two seconds. Okay. So now you could get each of these to work. You could test them out by clicking on them. I could click on this second character here and it would wait, and then it would speak, and then I could go click on this one, and it would speak, and then it would wait, but they're like overlapping. I need them to start at the same time. I need me to be able to press one button and for both of these characters to start going at the same time. So we need an event block. We need a gold event block, and we want the one, you could use the one that says when green flag tapped, or when space key pressed. I like the when space key pressed, because you could even uh, click on that arrow next to it and you could choose any key on your keyboard to start it. So I'm gonna pick space key. And you're gonna put that on the top of both of your characters, um, both of your characters' uh, codes. So you're gonna get this when space key pressed and you're gonna put that on top of your second character and you're gonna put it on top of your first character. So that, if I check back in here, when I press the space key, do 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 do, Oops, press the space key. How do we do? Did I do the right thing? Yes, try it again. I was, oh, okay. I was managing I was, the chat. So there we go. Fault. There we go. Ah, now they both start at the same time, right? So, and now they're synced up. So we got an event block on the top of our say and wait blocks there, which is great. 
Um, so now it might be fun. These two characters are telling jokes in the middle of some white nothingness right now. And nothing happens nowhere. Everything happens somewhere, right? That's something for you to think about when you can't sleep. We're going to put a background on this project now so that these two characters are talking to each other somewhere. So it's really easy to add a background too. Let me show you how. If you go over here on the very bottom right, you can choose a background. And again, there are so many cool backgrounds for you to choose from. There's, uh, oh, I have a dinosaur, so I think I might do this Jurassic one. There's a jungle one. There's a space city. I'm gonna go for a space city. That looks pretty cool. I like how this looks, that's pretty great. So you can choose any background that you want, and then you can reposition your characters a little bit so that they're standing, they're looking like they're kind of standing somewhere in that, in that space. So while you guys grab a background and reposition your characters, I got a couple more jokes to try on you, Matt. These don't have a theme. I'm just, I'm pulling out all the stops. These are the best I got, I'm okay? Ready. Here we go. How do you cut the ocean in half? Hmm? How do you cut the ocean in half? With a seesaw. With a seesaw. No? Nothing. All right. Okay. I got, okay. I got two more. I got two more. What prize do you get for putting your phone on vibrate? Hmm? I don't know. What prize do you get? You get the Nobel Prize because it's not ringing. It's the Nobel Prize. Oh. <laughs> I think he was disappointed in that joke. Okay. I got one more. This one's one of my favorite ones ever. It's got to do it. What do you call a happy cowboy? I don't know. What do you call a happy cowboy, Kelsey? A jolly rancher. No, man. I thought that one was going to do it. That one's one of my favorite jokes because I actually also really like jolly ranchers, but it's not working. It's not working. All right, we gotta, we gotta keep trying. Maybe you guys can submit some jokes. We might have some jokes coming in from the internet, actually. Do we have any jokes coming in from online, Matt? Well, yeah, actually what do we, we do. Uh, we have one knock-knock joke. Oh. Uh, and, and this one is from somebody in our Zoom classroom. Oh, I think yeah. this one's from Mike and Xander. Can we take a look at you, Mike and Xander? Do you wanna tell Matt a joke for realsies? You can unmute yourself and tell this joke in your own voice. Knock-knock. <laughs> Who's there? You're a poo. No, you're a poo. <laughs> <laughs> no, not even that one made Matt laugh. Man, Matt is, we, I, we just, I feel like what we got to do is we got to find like something that really appeals to him. I really liked that joke, Xander. That one's going to make me laugh for a while. We got to find a kind of joke that appeals to Matt. All right. But while we're, while we're doing that, um, let's head back to our code because we should probably fix that problem that I mentioned before. My characters are both facing the same direction and I want them to face each other. You guys might be having this issue too. It's really easy to do. Let me show you. Um, so if I go to this dinosaur character here, I can also change what's called its costume, okay? So I can go to costumes in here and it's really easy. That was right up there at the top. There was code all the way to the left, and then there was costumes right next to it. And so now you can see there are four different costumes that my, uh, <laughs> my, my uh, dinosaur can have. And I like this one for kind of the basic costume, but I want it to be turned around. I want it to be facing the cat. So I'm going to flip it. Ah, see how it says flip horizontal? Look at there. Now it's facing the other way. So now instead of facing the wrong direction, it's facing the correct direction. You could do that. And you might want to take, take note of like what these different costumes are called. This one I think is called dinosaur A, this one's B, this one's C, this one's D. Because you can do some other kind of cool stuff with costumes as well. So I just fixed costume A to be facing the right direction. And when the dinosaur laughs, I think it would be really funny for it to go, ah, ha, ha. So I think I'm gonna use that costume as well and flip that one horizontal too. Great. So when I go back here, if you want to add in some costumes, I'm going to start my dinosaur with the switch costume to, I want it to be costume A, that was that first one. But then right before it laughs, I wanna switch the costume 
It's a costume D, exactly. So now I want to see what this looks like. Okay, so it's not laughing and it's waiting. And it says, I don't know where, and then it waits. And then it'll open its mouth and it'll laugh. So you could play with the costumes for yours as well. All right, I think I have an idea for, for a type of joke that could make Matt laugh. He's a robot, right? Robots, I think of robots and I think of math a little bit. So I thought it might be good to try some math jokes. Does anybody out there know any math jokes? I have a couple. Y'all know any math jokes? Type them up, send them in. Here's one that I've got. Matt, how do you keep warm in a cold room? I don't know, Kelsey. How do you keep warm in a cold room? You go to the corner because it's always 90 degrees. Well, well, no. I thought a geometry joke was going to get there. Okay, I got a couple other ones. Okay, what did one math book say to the other math book? I don't know, Kelsey. What did one math book say to the other? Don't bother me, man. I got my own problems. No. And uh, <laughs> that one was more sort of a, a, a social thing. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, this one, no setup and punchline. It's just the joke. Let's see. It's a one-liner. Here we go. A farmer counted 396 cows in his field, but when he rounded them up, he had 400. Because he rounded them up. Oh. <laughs> Still nothing. Still nothing from Matt. I thought we were going to get it with the math jokes. I think we're getting warmer, though. I think I caught, like, I caught just the corner of his mouth turning up a little bit. So if you've got some math jokes, some robot jokes, anything like that, do you guys have, I think we have a math joke coming in. Do we have one, Matt? Well, it's not a math joke. All right. But uh, but we do have a hi from Aiden. So I wanted to say hi back. <laughs> hi, Aiden. Aiden. <laughs> and you were getting um, uh, some love from Kat and Elise, who said they really liked your seesaw joke. Thanks. Well, one one uh, math joke did just come in. This one's from Ed. And it is, why do plants hate math? I don't know. Why do plants hate math, Ed? It gives them square roots. <laughs> that's good. I like that. But that's still not working for, for you, Matt. All right. I feel like we got we to gotta tap into something here. I, I'm, I'm hoping that maybe your scratch projects, when they're all ready to go, maybe your scratch projects that you're making can make Matt laugh. The last thing we gotta do in order for you to be able to make Matt laugh with your scratch jokes is share them. So that's part of why I had you create an account on Scratch, because sharing is super easy. See so if you go all the way to the top of the screen, there's an orange button that says share, and there's, there's a thing that says untitled. You can give your project a title. So I'm gonna say uh, cows on Friday, because that's what my joke is about and then I'm gonna share it. And when you go to share it, you give some instructions. And so these instructions, you tell people how to initiate it, how to start it. I used the space bar for mine. So it'll say, hit the space bar to start the joke. That's what I'm gonna type in there. Hit the space bar to start the joke, okay? And then if you got credit from, if you got your joke from anywhere, like if you heard it from your dad or if it's from your favorite TV show or something like that, this is where you would give credit to the places that you got inspiration from. I will tell you that a lot of my jokes came from Laffy Taffy wrappers. I don't know if you guys have ever had Laffy Taffy, but they're little candies and on the inside they have jokes. So I'll say thanks to Laffy Taffy for the jokes. All right. And then uh, uh, this is where you can now share it. So this thing that says copy link, you can copy a link right there. Here's the link. I could copy that, or I could just hit the thing that says copy link, and then you can post it to us. Post it to us on Facebook, or post it to us on YouTube if you're live, or if you're here with us on Zoom, post your scratch joke in Zoom so that we can show it. And uh, once we kind of look at some of them, we'll, we'll take a look at them to make sure that they're A-OK. -okay. Um, we can, we'll show them here on the screen. Um, so I have, while you guys are finishing that up, while you guys are sharing your scratch jokes, and I hope we get a few coming in, I have one last joke for you, Matt. And I'm really, really hoping that this one's gonna work. Okay, are you ready? Okay, I a, am ready. It's a computer joke. So oh. here we go. Why was the robot tired when it got home? I don't know. Why was the robot tired when it got home? Because it had a hard drive. 
<laughs> we did it. We made it laugh. Yeah. All it took was a computer joke, you guys. That's great. If anybody else has any computer jokes, send those in because this guy loves it. Look at that big old grin on his face. That's great. So Matt is going to pull up some of our jokes that you guys have made on Scratch. We're going to check them out to make sure that they're all good to go. And we're going to take a look. Um, let's see. Just make it full screen there. Yeah. There we go. Uh, here, I got it from here, actually. Okay. So we're going to go here. This one is, is this one from Sandy? The sheep joke? Yeah? Okay. So we're going to take it full screen. There we go. And we're going to hit the green flag. Let's see it, Sandy. We've got, and then do you hit the space bar? All right, space bar. Where do sheep go to get their hair cut? I don't know, where? To the Baba shop. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's cute. <laughs> you had your little ducky move up and down. <laughs> Matt's loving it, man. He's got, he loves your jokes. This is great. <laughs> this is wonderful. Well, how about, can we get, uh, it looks like Xander submitted one as well. Let's take a look at Xander and Mike's joke. Oh, we might need to, we'll uh, reload that. There we go. Copy it and paste it again in the thing because it's, for whatever reason, it's not coming up. Um, but these are that that was really funny i liked in your project sandy how you made the duck move up and down to laugh that was really cute <laughs> i like that we'll give it another go yeah for whatever reason mike and xander uh yours isn't loading on our end i'm not sure why if you can copy it and paste it again maybe it'll load this time oh. no for some reason it's still not loading let's see what else could we try to get that to load can you just try to copy it and then paste it? Yeah. All right. Trying things out. I really want to see it, Mike and Xander, so I hope that that works. Let's try this. Hmm. We'll give it a go. <laughs> and I wonder if there are any folks coming in from, uh, from Facebook and YouTube, if they have any other jokes for us. Uh, yeah, there is a, there are a couple jokes actually. Are there? Uh, uh, Beth writes, uh, why do robots not like wet math? Why don't they like wet math? Wet math. Well, yes. I don't why know. Don't why don't they like, they wet, like math? wet math? Because they're rusty at it. <laughs> 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 they're a little rusty at wet math. I get it. Yeah. I get it. I like it. It's and a good we got one. a joke from Kat. From Cat? Yeah. What's your joke, Cat? How do you know robots are so smart? I don't know. How do you know robots are so smart? I don't know. Go ask the robot. <laughs> <laughs> That's very silly, Cat. I like it a lot. I like it a lot, a lot. Let's see if we can get this project to open. Oh, we got it, Xander and Mike. We got it. Yes. Good job. Way to persist. Okay. So here we go. We're going to press space bar to play. So I'm going to make it full screen. Here's our space bar. What's, oh, oh, hold on, back up, back up. I wasn't fast <laughs> enough. Don't show us, undo it. Don't look. <laughs> Don't look. Uh, let's click on it again. I need it. <laughs> I needed to, uh, I need to be faster at reading. Okay, I'm ready now. I got my, I got my head screwed on straight. Here we go. Mm -hmm. What's red and white and black all, or what's black and white and red and all over? No idea. A newspaper, because it's black and white and red all over, and they read it all over. Is that like Twitter? <laughs> now I just feel old. <laughs> That's a good one. I want to play this joke again. What's black and white and red all over? I have no idea. A newspaper. A newspaper. Is that like Twitter? <laughs> now I just feel old. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I like that. I have forgotten what a newspaper is. Uh, what a newspaper is either, man. That's great. That's a good time. <laughs> this was so fun, you guys. I think we probably have a couple more jokes coming in from Facebook and from YouTube. But before we tell those to you, I want to tell you a little bit more about how you can get more involved with MakerCamp and with CodeJoy. So um, before we finish our last couple jokes, 
Um, as I said, we are CodeJoy. We're an online teaching and learning classroom. We focus on computer science, robotics, STEM making, all that fun stuff. Um, we would love it if you checked us out, if you came to our website, you can learn about all of our other classes, most of which are completely free for you to join. So you could join one of our Zoom sessions next week um, or one of our other sessions that we're doing. So check out our website on Saturday nights is when we, Saturday nights and Sunday mornings is when we post all of our classes. So check us out then. If you like what we've been doing, there's a couple ways for you to help. Way number one is if you'd like to contribute to our tip jar, you certainly can. We are doing all of our programming right now, or most of our programming, I should say, for free. So if you'd like to help us continue to do that, you could give us some money in our tip jar. You could also help us boost our signal a little bit. You could tag us on Twitter. That's me, that's Matt, and that is CodeJoy if you wanna join in. Or you should also post hashtag make together, especially if you make a scratch joke project, you should post it on Twitter and use any of these hashtags here because I would love to see what you guys made. Um, and the last way, so way number one, you can help us out, tip jar. Way number two, social media. Way number three is you can email us. And emailing us would be really cool because we also like to work with individual teachers. So if you're a teacher and you would like us to do something with your class, we can do that. Even if your class is all working from home and learning from home, we can do individual classes with just your folks, just your kiddos um, in the class. And it could be really focused on what you guys want to do. Um, so we would love it if you would email us um, to think about how we could do something with your class, maybe something for the end of the year. It could be fun. So looks like we might have a couple more jokes coming in from social media. Do you want to take us out with a couple of jokes, Matt? Sure. All right. Uh, what do you call a sheep with no legs? Uh, I don't know. What do you call a sheep with no legs? A cloud. <laughs> that's cute. That's, I like that. I like and, that. <laughs> and I got one more. One more. What is it? What is it? Uh, what has a bottom at its top? What has a bottom at its top? Uh, um, I don't know. What has a bottom at its top? A leg. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. A leg has a bottom at its top. That was a good one. That's a sinker. I'm going to think about that one for the rest of the day. <laughs> well, I want to go to gallery view really quick and say a big thank you to our live participants on Zoom. Thank you so much, Sandy. And thank you so much, Xander. You guys did an awesome job today. We're going to end our live stream here, but we can't wait to see you next week for our classes with Family Maker Camp. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>